What's up guys, it's Manny. I'm back with another video today. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking about whether Rate My Prof reviews actually matter when choosing your college classes. Um, if you don't know, RateMyProf.com is a huge website. I know they use it in North America. Um, I don't know about places internationally, but um, in North America, we have a website where you can rate professors from different institutions, and then based on those reviews, you can choose whether to, whether to sign up for their classes and stuff like that. People can leave their honest review of the class, what class they took, what grade they got, and kind of just what they thought in general, if they would take the class again, if it's homework heavy. If you've never been on the website, I would highly suggest you go and check it out because it is pretty informative if you look for the right things. So to answer the question of whether Rate My Prof matters when choosing a prof for your college classes, the short answer is no, but the long answer is no, but yes. I know I'm terrible. So the reason why I say no at first is because a lot of college and university classes are self-studying and you have to kind of figure things out on your own. Profs are really only there to kind of share the information, but honestly when you study and stuff it's a lot of individual work and kind of keeping on track of your own work and studying. The reason why I say yes, however, that it matters is because to be honest, um, The reason why I say yes, however, is because there are definitely some profs who are more experienced and better than others. Also, there are profs that will be more test heavy, midterm heavy, final heavy, stuff like that, versus teachers that are, or profs that are more assignment heavy, like essays and stuff. And depending on your strengths in different kinds of assignments, you could use that to kind of get the best mark possible. Um, for example, I would much rather take a, a course that has less midterms and more essays and stuff because I'm definitely better at essays but I mean yeah so what if I if there were a choice I would definitely look for profs that were more essay heavy. Rate My Prof is also good for um, finding the best prof for each section um, so for example at UBC at just Psych 102. I feel like I talk about Psych all the time. Psych 102 is a huge course. There are like nine different classes of it, I think, in the year total. Um, you kind of want to look through all the profs and make sure you choose the best one, the most high rated one, just so that you can get like the, the best experience in classes possible. Um, a lower rating doesn't, it does mean that they are a worse teacher, but it doesn't mean you're gonna have a terrible time. Like, I know people who say they have bad profs, but they still have a good class time. I also know people who have good profs and don't enjoy the class as much as they should have or thought they would. I'm just gonna give you a few examples. This video is probably gonna be really short because there isn't much to talk about, but just a few examples are, um, for example, I keep saying example. For example, I took Math 104 in my first year. Um, luckily, I lucked out and chose the section that had the best prof. He was the IIC, which is the instructor in charge for Math 104, all the Math 104 sections. Um, so he kind of knew what he was doing the most, and I definitely did the best and like did a lot better than friends who were in other sections in that class because I actually understood what he was teaching and stuff. I heard about other math profs who you could barely understand what they were saying or they'd be teaching in a really confusing way or just people would literally start walking out of class because their prof was so bad. So yeah, if you want to avoid situations like that, I'd definitely check out Rate My Prof first. Um, regardless of that, I'd always check Rate My Prof just to see whether um, the prof gives out really heavy homework or like no homework but a lot of self-studying, a lot of readings that you have to do and stuff like that. I think that information is really important to consider when you're choosing a class. When I was looking for my Words 150 prof, I chose a course and when I went on Rate My Prof, um, I noticed that a lot of reviews were saying that she gave out a lot of homework and I didn't really mind that at first. I was kind of just like, uh, eh, Words 150 doesn't really matter as long as I pass. But oh my god, were the reviews so true because I had so much homework in that class. I literally had homework every day and this homework would take like two, three hours at a time. And they would just take up so much time for, from my other courses, from my other studying and stuff like that. And I just wish I chose a different prof because I really regret spending so much time on that course. Like I ended up not doing my homework anymore just because I didn't have the time and couldn't physically finish it. Um, while also maintaining like a healthy sleep schedule and like food and 
mental health and stuff like that. I just decided to sacrifice that homework part. But yeah, that that was an experience. <laughs> um, I think that's pretty much it for this video. I think it's going to be a little bit short, shorter than my other college tips videos, but this one is just a topic that I thought I would talk about and I thought about it last night and that was pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, Rate My Prof is definitely a useful tool. I know a lot of people use it to hate on profs and stuff like that. I don't use it as a place like that. I genuinely just want to see what a prof is like and make sure that I'm signing up for the best course possible and making sure that I don't make any mistakes when I'm choosing a prof. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any more questions. I will see you next time. Bye! Waking up in the morning, I can't remember yesterday.